What's up, guys? And welcome back to Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hi. Every Sunday, me and my beautiful wife over here are giving you guys great tips, tricks, and things will hopefully ignite, entice, and enhance your relationship to a whole new healthy level, right? Because that's where we want to get. We want progression, and we want to get to that awe moment with your partner and stay in that awe moment and have a great, healthy, happy life together, right? But nothing is perfect, and everything takes work, whether it's your relationship or your job or whatever you're trying to do. It always has to be you putting a little bit of effort, a little bit of time, maybe some sacrifice to make whatever it is better, and that's your relationship too. Mm -hmm. Whether you're just starting to date somebody, whether you're a girlfriend or boyfriend, or you're a fiance, or you're married, right? Different levels of commitment and different levels of responsibility and probably more time together as you level up in these things. And that sometimes, you know, kind of clouds different things of, you know, maybe of what made your relationship so great in the beginning or some different things that you used to do for your partner all the time that, you know, maybe over time you haven't done as much, right? And this is this is went off a little bit. Maybe your personal time together, whether it's your dates or it's your fun time in the bedroom, right? Maybe that's went down. So, or maybe it stayed the same. Maybe it's gotten better. Who knows, <laughs> right? Everybody's different. And relationships are different, just like people. Hopefully, it's getting better with time. It's like fine wine, aging. If you're getting better, and it's hard because it's you gotta it's, keep recreating some wheels. It's definitely definitely more work, right? You can't just like leave the same tires on. You know, and me and Shreesh were talking about it today. We were talking about what topics we were going to discuss today, and you know, we were doing concierge mobile medicine for Titan Medical Center today, and we we're thinking about you know talking about how partners are together all the time. And you know, it doesn't have to be work, it could be other different things related. We're still working on a project together, whether it's a birthday party, a trip, a vacation, you know, I don't know. There's a lot of things financially. I mean, you guys do a lot of projects together that you probably don't realize you're doing together, yeah. but you have to do it together. And maybe you're not doing this together right now. Maybe that's something you guys should incorporate you should do to together. do together. And and whether like she said, like maybe it's financial planning. You know, you want some understanding of what's going on with your finances if you're both, you know, got all your your coins in one pot per say right mm -hmm. and you want to know like hey listen what's going on here you know you don't have to give the partner a third degree if they're taking care of everything like that but you should know some general things about what's going on and maybe have some different insight of how you can make it better right mm -hmm. and this is teamwork here and you're collaborating because these are your things together mm -hmm. so at that point it's really really important so you know we decided that Sharice, Sharice actually decided <laughs> that it would be a, a good idea to go through this little app and it was like love languages. Yeah, I'm not, I, I don't really believe in this kind of stuff. I was just curious because it popped up on my thing and I was like, oh, I was like, let me see what my love language is supposedly. You know, these things aren't always accurate. So love language to me would have thought, um, you know, basically like you being able to communicate, communicate with your partner without speaking. Right, that's what I've thought love language is because that's kind of like what it is, right? It's like a no, secret like, language it, between it, you two. It's literally like you know, some people feel loved if they get money or so like they get gifts. your love language is what you feel love from, right? Whether it's, <laughs> it's quality time, whether it's words of ambition, whether it's physical touch, acts of service, or receiving gifts from your partner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These are the five categories that really breaks down. And you know, for us, I, I don't really like doing these things, you know, because. What, an app's going to tell me what's better for me and my partner? Yeah. Probably not. Um, you know, especially us, we've been together for about 15 years or more now. So we know each other's quirks. We know how each other works pretty much, especially me and her because we spend so much time together that yeah. it's kind of hard not to. And if you don't know what your partner's doing, if you're spending that much time with them, yeah, there's you gotta, a problem. <laughs> you got to ask why, right? Maybe you don't care. Maybe the love ain't there. I don't know. But if you're spending that much time with your partner, Love them or hate them, you're usually going to know how they work and how they tick all the way through and through. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and this could be good and could be bad, I guess, right? Yeah, when somebody um, knows you inside out like that, there really is no hiding yeah. anything. A, a lot of couples out there do not work together, right? And some people cannot spend all their time together either because they drive themselves crazy. They want to rip each other's hair out. You know, and at that point, you, you got to see what works best for you. Mm -hmm. um, but it is good to, to really identify some of these different things. And that's one thing that I did see a benefit in this app, like really identifying what my partner really is looking for. I, I, I like to see, like I learned something new was, about John. Well, not really new because I already knew this. But Yeah, so I mean, you know, our test came out a little bit different in the results, but they were kind of the same, near the same, I Almost, guess. Almost, yeah. Our top two were flipped. 
Yeah. And my top was quality of time. That was the highest percentage in my answering of these questions on this app of what I thought was the biggest priority of love language. So quality of time. This means like, you know, having quality time. There's no TV on. You're not eating. You don't have other people in the room. Not your phone. You're not on your phone. It's just quality time with you and your partner. Whether it's going to do a hobby, whether it's you guys watching a movie in the bedroom, or you know, you guys having fun time in the bedroom, whatever it may be, like this is the quality of time that that I like the best, because our our days are so busy, I guess, mm-hmm. that we really don't get quality of time in our day. Yes, we are here together right now. It doesn't and count. We're doing the show, but <laughs> this isn't quality time, no. right? This is us helping other people and us doing our jobs, which we work great together in doing that. But quality of time would be us, you know, after work and not talking about work and sitting which at home. Which is also very hard. It's hard. Because when you work together... It, I mean, think about even like if you don't work together, right? When you come home, mm-hmm. don't you usually talk about work? Like, yeah. oh, this one thing happened at the office today. I can't believe that girl did this. And like, I mean, you might be like saying something to your husband about whatever happened at work. Or, hey, I had a patient. Remember, I'd be like, yeah. hey, I had a patient come in today. And I'm like, this guy was crazy. And like, he started throwing things everywhere. Oh, who knows, right? Yeah. But like, you're usually talking about work. So like us we've been doing the same thing all day just different yeah. departments and it's almost like a, like we're at the end of the night it's almost inevitable almost for us to talk about it you know Comparing notes what happened through the day it's inevitable and then you you really have to be like conscious and it's taken me years to do this and i'm still working on this feature of mine um but be really conscious about like stop talking about it mm-hmm. like to just cut it off right mm-hmm. usually i'll get john's like you know his facial expression will really tell me like okay we're done talking about work now yeah <laughs> it gets to those points in the night <laughs> kind of like, does like an eye roll and i'm like mm, okay so what are we watching on tv today <laughs> <laughs> it does me you know, it can definitely put stress on the relationship you mm-hmm. know um, you know, even if you are coming home and you're talking about your day, that's good. You want to share your day with your partner. But, like, if you're working together all day, like me and her, like, we we know what's going on. Mm-hmm. We talk about what's going on. And then, you know, as owners, you're talking about different things. What like, as an better? employee? Because yeah. when you're an employee, you're talking about how your day was, how your peer was, what the account was, something around those terms. Now, we're talking about, one, how the day went. Right, and then you got to flip it and say, "All right, well, what do we need to do tomorrow? What's going on next week? Mm. We got all these different things going on, and then start talking about them. It could just go on for days and days and days if we just continue like that. Yeah. So you got to have some 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 sort of stop button or safe word or, or look yeah, that, that gets blood. you out of that. Ugh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you know, I mean, the second one on mine was words of affirmation, and I think this was first on Cherise's. It own. was, and I don't believe this is true. Well, by the questions you answered. <laughs> It's true, okay? I don't even believe in words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. It's like she wants people to, or she wants her partner, specifically me, <laughs> to tell her how He's great she about is. Himself. To tell her how great she is. That is not true. That is not true. I like, that's I what, that's like. That's where the answers no, 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 no. come to, the result. I like when my partner. That's what I said, your partner. Right. When my husband, well, I like when John recognizes, recognizes her with me. credit. Why? Because John, because this is this is a one-off kind of thing, right? It really depends on your partner on what you're going to answer on these questions, right? Because John specifically, he doesn't give out very many um, recognitions, right? He only gives out so many so many at a time to so many people and you like you kind of like got to do something like big right to get a recognition from john or like you know john to be like hey good job or like you know oh that that was so awesome like john john just doesn't say that to everybody so actually it's a little bit more special for me to want that in my relationship knowing that he doesn't give that all the time yeah See? You, you shouldn't. Huh. Well, there's well, a reason. Well, One, you shouldn't well. be giving it out like everything. It's a, it's a form of currency, <laughs> and if you give it out to everybody at no value, then oh, it has boy. no value. And it's pennies right? on the dollar. So at that point, like you know, when you do give it out and people recognize that, listen, I don't hear this all the time. Then it, it, it's a higher value than at that point, and it might be taking more serious. It's like going around and telling everybody that you love them. You say it to everybody. There's no value in that. Mm-hmm. If I go up to every one of my employees, love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. Like, oh man, John loves everybody. You can't be like that. You got to give the the credit where credit is due, but you can't give it all the time because one, people will start becoming complacent because that's what they think. Their head starts blowing up to that level. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, I'm just great and everything I do is great. So you don't want to do that. And at that point, like I said, if you give it out, 
as currency, you're going to get more value for it back, and that's why I do it. You know, for me, that was my second one. Words of affirmation. Yeah, John wasn't too far off. You always want your partner to recognize you for doing good, right? Whether it's supporting you, whether it's he's telling you, you kicked ass at your job today, or you were awesome in the bedroom. All these different compliments start adding up, mm -hmm. and it starts giving your your partner self confidence about your relationship, about yourself, and this can help grow the relationship because you're confident with your partner and you have more trust with your partner and this will develop into better things down the road whether it's more better communication better in sex life a better just personal life together what you guys can do and what you guys can expand on so uh, i think that's key i think words of affirmation are key for sure you definitely should give credit where credit is due but i don't think you should just give it out like like candy, candy. This should definitely be something that's earned, right? And anything you do, earn it, and it'll feel a lot better if you get it. Instead, you're just getting it at nothing, and at that point, you, you treat it like nothing. John's compliments are like pieces of rock gold, maybe some diamonds. <laughs> I give them out. I give them out. All right. So my third one, and I don't know what your third one was. It's the was same your, one. Was it third? So our third one together was both physical touch. Yep. And, you know, I think this plays a big role for most people out there that... It, you know, the physical touch portion, whether you're outside in the public and you're Hold hands. holding hands, right? That That's a form of affirmation together. You okay. guys are putting out there to the world that you guys are together as a couple. Uh, and you guys are hopefully happy at that point. You hug. Yep. Kiss. Put your arm around them. You know, even physical touch in the bedroom, right? You want more physical touch. You know, there was questions on here that asked, like, would you rather receive a gift <laughs> or would you rather get a hug from your partner? Right? <laughs> And me, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the hug, right? A lot of people may might pick the gift or whatever it may be, but I'd rather be close to my partner than get a gift from my partner because mm -hmm. you know gifts can be given to anybody, right? And you can get a gift from anybody, but to have that personal like connection. intimate connection, mm -hmm. that's that's gold. Yeah, you can't buy that, you know. Acts of service was my fourth one. What was your fourth? Acts of service. So acts of for service was our fourth one. Um, and that means like, you know, doing something for your partner, right. like when they're stressed, maybe helping them out or a job or, you know, maybe doing something that, or, you know, maybe there's a load of laundry on the floor and you walk past and you're like, oh, you know what? She's busy right now. Let me just toss it in there. For yeah. Her. So, you know, you do these special things, these little it's things, little, you would be it's so surprised things. the little things go so far, the little things. Um, our last one was both receiving gifts. Mine was at a 0% with this. Mine was 3%. She was and that 3 one question so I she likes getting more that. gifts than I do. <laughs> I love gifts. Yes, John. Shower me with gifts. So some people, this might be their top one. They might like to receive gifts more than anything. Personal attention, words of affirmation. So if that's your gig, that is what it is. But those are materialistic things. And materialistic things can go bye-bye. The true love will never do that. So somebody can go out that's a billionaire and probably go get 100 wives. And at that point, if he loses his billion dollars... Those hundred wives are probably going to be gone because they were there for the wrong reasons and that was for money and gifts and materialistic things and not for love. So at that point, you can pick your path and you can be the one path that just wants to do the money thing and, and do that for the golden ticket. It that's might kinda, go good, it might go bad. Listen, this kind of worked out pretty good though because when me and John, we've been to the bottom together yeah. and then we went to the top together. So like he obviously knows I'm not here for that. Right. I know what he's here for as well. And it makes life very, very easy for it's us. It's a lot easier than you going in and building a business. And then at that point, you've got all this money. And you're like, oh, now I need to find a partner. And, and then she's like, oh, my God, I love your or car. Or it could be a guy. Oh, my God. I know plenty of very, very financially well-off women. Same thing. They're getting dealt by the guys. And the guys are the exact same thing. So it doesn't matter anymore. The gender is out the door. You might see more girls. No more gender. I'm blasting guys. But guys are doing it too. So find the right partner. Go through these different things, find out what your love language is, what really drives you, and then share that with your partner, some of these different results, and then come together on this, and then start taking action to become a better couple together. Yeah. Okay? So that's it. Cupid's Corner every Sunday, 11 a.m. Catch us on ABC. If you don't, don't worry. You can DVR it or catch us on YouTube or any of our social media channels. You guys can see the full episodes there too as well. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. You my beautiful wife, Sharice. We'll see you next Sunday on Cupid's Quarter at 11 a.m. See you then.